When high school students graduate, it's on to college, then a job for many, and then hopefully a career. So just how do they get hired? Well, the first step is to ace the interview, and that's what this mock interview workshop is all about. What we're doing is we're all working together to try to help our, uh, the youth of our community um, find, uh, guide them to the pathway for success in their, whatever career they choose, um, whatever their pursuits are in the future. We feel like providing them with the soft skills, providing them with the ability to communicate professionally, um, to shake people's hands and, and look people in the eye and, and um, interact with people on a professional basis will really help them in their future. This is a collaboration between education partners, the business community, workforce development, and the city of Norwalk. Students have an opportunity to speak to uh, adults, uh, professional adults that they have never spoken to before, which is different than speaking to the parents and speaking to their friends. And so code switching for them here is a great learning opportunity that they can reflect on in the future when they're up for an actual job interview. It was exciting. It was great. The uh, intelligence of the students that came in, uh, I had the opportunity to interview kids from Norwalk High School and John Glenn. They, the kids were outstanding. I, I thought, you know, it really made me feel good about the educational system and what's going on in the school district. Well, I think the caliber of students is quite high. The students, when you ask them these interview questions, which you think that they'd be nervous, you couldn't even tell that they were nervous. They are just answering them in a very mature way and in a, in a way that is leaving me speechless on how prepared they are. Um, in particular, one of the students from the Southeast Academy, you know, I'd hire her now. In addition to the students answering questions, the panelists pose questions, questions they might not have considered. A student Sylvia Sosa interviewed is interested in illustration. You know, when you're looking at a field, you also have to determine where are those jobs, like New York, would be perfect for you. California, maybe not so much. So uh, would you be willing to move to New York? I said, you know, I don't know if you are or aren't, but that's something that you would have to consider if you're interested in a field like that. Emily Rios plans to get a master's in criminal justice. But regardless the path the student is looking to pursue, the exercise is the same. It was a great experience because basically you walk in there, like it, you act professional, like if it's real, and then after you do your interview, they help and to give you pointers on what you should do next time. This is a learning experience that to prepare them for what the future might be in store for them to instill in them the confidence level that they will need, whether it's at a uh, interim or entry level position for a job interview or a higher level position, uh, to explain to them that walk into the room ex with an exuberance of confidence. Here's a snapshot of Norwalk's next generation of leaders in the community. Some of their takeaways from this event? The person I met with, he said I had good eye contact, a strong voice, um, good posture. Um, he didn't really say I had to work on anything, <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Great experience that I had today. I could embrace that knowledge that I got today into a real job interview and just do great like I did today. At first I was nervous, but the more I knew about the person that was interviewing me, the more I got comfortable with them. Like we started talking like about a lot of stuff that other than the interview, like we just got comfortable. While finding a connection is helpful, so is doing your homework. It's helped me by not being that nervous, you know, like going through interview questions, you know, being prepared, more prepared than I already was today. And I don't know, it's just like helping me a lot with that. I learned that asking questions is key and being confident and not being afraid to show yourself off a little bit is really important to acing a good interview. Thinking years ahead, Joseph Juarez has plans to be a forensic detective in law enforcement. When you apply at the department, you have a three-panel interview, usually with uh, the chief of police of that department, uh, a member, another member of the department, and then a member of the city. And so it's a very challenging thing to do, and I think that this uh, will help with that in the future. My interview went really well. My interviewer gave me a lot of feedback, and I believe this will help me in the future. Um, he told me to give more details on activities I have done. For example, I've been part of a robotics competition, and he told me I should just mention more about it because that will grab my interviewer's attention. 
With all the feedback the students received, here's one more thing to consider. The best advice I could give any student is to ask themselves a question, at least on an annual basis. If you could do anything you wanted to do, what would you do? And never settle for anything less. As long as you do that, you will never work a day in your life because you'll be doing exactly what you want to do. The program is in its second year and due to its popularity has added two new high schools and has more than doubled the amount of students invited to attend, allowing more graduates in our community to be career ready. In Norwalk, I'm Jacqueline Twag. Now you know.